Hello everyone, welcome to Devotional Read with Denovia. Just in case you're new to my channel, my name is Denovia McKenzie. I am the author of the Encounter 10 Day Devotional. I am also the founder of the Walking with the King Ministry. I'll be sharing with you all devotionals by various Christian authors that I have read and truly enjoyed. This week, I am sharing with you a devotional by Kristen and Bethany that is entitled Sex, Purity, and the Longings of a Girl's Heart. It is a seven-day devotional. The seven-day devotional covers topics such as sexual brokenness, lies about our design, truth about our design, how we're redeemed, renamed, how we're finally satisfied, and real talk that is real honest. So stay tuned, stick around for the read of this devotional. Day one, sexually broken. We have all experienced some form of sexual struggle or distortion due to sin. None of us are completely whole. None of us are completely pure. None of us experience God's perfect design for our sexuality as he originally intended. Regardless of our age, background, upbringing, race, sexual brokenness is something we all face. Sure, it will look different for each of us, but it's something we all have to deal with. Whether we struggle with secret sin, occasional lust, sexual promiscuity, homosexual desires, pornography, addiction, masturbation, or something else, one thing is clear. We as women are sexually broken. In preparing this devotional, they surveyed 450 Christian women with specific questions regarding their sexual struggles. Here are what the women had to say. Person 1. I have been struggling with porn for a while now, and I don't know what to do. I am ashamed and scared of letting my secret out. I need help, but I can't get it because I'm too ashamed to tell others. Person 2. I was a victim of several sexual abusive situations as a young girl. I've had a lot of issues as a result, and I've spent most of my adult life fighting addiction and depression. Person 3. I struggle with the same-sex attraction to women. This has been an issue in my life for as long as I can remember. If it's so wrong, why doesn't God take my desires away? Person 4. My mind is a war zone. Lust is almost constantly invading my thoughts. These are real Christian women. Struggling, hurting, honest. Each one of them is experiencing some form of sexual brokenness. Whether she is committing a sin or a sin is being committed against her. Each woman is suffering. Sometimes it's easy for us to think we're the only one struggling, but we're not. Each one of us is carrying our own burdens. Each one of us is in desperate need of sexual restoration. Each one of us desperately needs a savior to make us whole. Jesus is the savior. He wants to transform your brokenness into beauty for his glory. We pray that the truths of God's word transform your life the way they have ours. If you had to add your own struggles to the bottom of that list, what would you say? As you think about your past and present, how has your own sexuality been marred by sin? The Bible verses for today are read from the Amplified Version. Verse John 1 9. If we freely admit that we have sinned and confess our sins, he is faithful and just, true to his own nature and promises, and will forgive our sins and cleanse us continually from all unrighteousness, our wrongdoing, everything not in conformity with his will and purpose. Psalms 51 10. Create in me a clean heart, O God, and renew a right and steadfast spirit within me. Romans 12, verse 2. And do not be conformed to this world any longer with its superficial values and customs, but be transformed and progressively changed as you mature spiritually by the renewing of your mind 
focusing on godly values and ethical attitudes so that you may prove for yourselves what the will of God is, that which is good and acceptable and perfect in his plan and purpose for you. John 8, 32 And you will know the truth regarding salvation, and the truth will set you free from the penalty of sin. Amen. If you enjoyed this devotional read, the full devotional is available on the YouVersion Bible app for free. The link will be provided in the description. If you'd like to see more videos like this on my channel, leave a comment below. As of now, enjoy your evenings everyone. Until next time.